This video is going to explain how you plug in your microchip to your computer. So to begin with, your microchip is actually this small black square here. And it's tiny, so it's been mounted on a piece of red circuit board. And you're going to be able to interface with the inputs and outputs of your microchip via these pins along the edges of the circuit board. So underneath each of these, there's a piece of wire that sticks into the breadboard, the white area below, and then you'll be able to run a jump wire from that pin over to the body of your breadboard, and you'll be able to build circuits in here that then interface with your chip. There's a second microchip here that helps your microchip talk to the outside world. And also, just so you know, it's possible that your piece of circuit board has been mounted a little farther into the breadboard than mine has been. That's just a choice that the technician made. If it's in a little bit, that protects this circuit board better, but it also restricts how much space you have. They're both perfectly valid choices, but if you want to pop out your piece of circuit board and move it back and forth, feel free to. Now, in addition to your breadboard, you've also been given a USB cable, and one end of it is just a regular USB, and the other end of it is a micro USB. And this micro end of the USB is going to plug in here to interface with your chip. And the other end of it, you're going to plug into your computer. Now, as soon as you plug in your chip to your computer, it's going to open up this express board memory storage drive. So this acts just like any other memory storage. The express board is that red circuit board that holds your chip. The way in which you're going to program your chip is you're going to drag and drop a hex file into this memory storage. And that programs that piece of code onto your microchip. I'll show you how to do that in a separate video.